Hi, this is Jay with JLT, and we're cruising down the highway in our 2013 Ford Mustang GT. And I wanted to talk a little bit about underhood temperatures with uh, cold air intake, as well as dynoing with the hood up versus hood down. Uh, there's always a, a, a comment made or an argument online of people saying, well, dynoing with the hood up uh, gives the filter an unfair advantage. Uh, you'll get uh, remarks of, I don't drive with my hood up. Well, of course you don't. But with your hood down, you're gonna see, and, and the insufficient fans at a typical dyno shop, you're gonna see temperatures that far exceed what you would on the street. So what we're looking to do on the dyno is simulate as close to street temperatures as possible. Here we are, we're doing about 70 miles an hour. We're just over 2,000 RPMs. We've got a coolant temp of 195 degrees. This gauge over here is saying that outside temperature, ambient temperature is 65. Our Aero Force gauges says it's 62. But that number above, that's 66, that's the actual air temperature at the filter taken at the mass air sensor. It's not 100 degrees, it's not 150 degrees, it's not even 90 degrees. We're cruising at 70 miles an hour and we're only four degrees above ambient. So having a hood up with uh, in the dyno shop doing a before and after test is really the only accurate way. Hood closed with a small fan, you're gonna see 80, 90, 100 degrees uh, inlet air temperature, which is gonna affect the tune. So the only fair way to do a test on the dyno is hood up. Hood closed is only gonna work if you're in a dyno cell that has fans and HVAC uh, systems that can simulate uh, actual driving speeds and temperature. So hopefully this will uh, give everybody some information uh, that's valuable. Hood up testing on the dyno is, is valid. It's gotten a little warmer out, 68 degrees, 197 coolant temp. We're still looking at a here five so seven degree temperature differential at 70 miles an hour okay outside temperature car it's getting a little warmer out 77 degrees outside 89 degree inlet air temps differential of 12 degrees slow down obviously in, inlet air temperatures are going to go up and as you go to a stop sign or a light they're going to creep up but having a cold air intake on what I found is that they do creep up but they also come down faster as well having the open air filter now don't be fooled your stock air box is going to in increase in heat on stop lights and uh, stop signs too so when you're at speed and highway speed and you're moving, you got airflow, you got cool inlet air temperature with your hood closed, and you'll make power that you need.